Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a super simple, easy to look after isoplod enclosure. Uh, I'm going to be using the Porcelio Levaeus Dairy Cow, just because they're, they're pretty bomb proof. They can handle that sort of higher humidity, lower humidity, uh, and they're just a nice, affordable, pretty isopod. If anything, I think they're underrated. Uh, they breed so quickly that people just have abundances of them. So what I have done is I've got an isopod mix here. Uh, I've gone pretty heavy on the sort of rotting wood as that's what they like to eat. Although Porcelio levaeus themselves are pretty protein hungry. Um, so I will talk about that later. Uh, what I've done is I've got the soil, a nice bit of cork bark so they can hide under, and then I've used some uh, Terrasmac moss. I'll put the name up if I need to, uh, as I've got a load of mosses in, so I'm using lots of different ones. Mix of nice dried leaves. Uh, these work really well aesthetically, but they also work as a food source for isopods, um, which just makes life so much easier. You can have a pretty enclosure, but it still be beneficial to the isopods. Um, I love these guys, as I said, they're great as a first sort of isopod piece, species, just because they're, they're bulletproof, they look nice, and I just, I just love them. Uh, so, that's basically all you really need uh, to get, get started. I've got the rotting wood in the uh, substrate, which is what they'll eat. I've got the dried leaves, which they'll eat, so I'll just pop, pop in the isopods now. The other great thing about these guys is they're big and they're bold, and they don't mind just sort of walking around and exploring, uh, which for some other species you'll find until you get really high numbers, they tend to hide up a lot, which takes takes the fun out of it unless you're really, really into it. Um, so they're in. What I also like to do is add springtails. Now I've got the standard tropical springtails, but I also have uh, Billabella, which are a bigger springtail species and they're orangey red. I mean, they're super, super cool. So I'll just find the damp spot as that's what they'll prefer and just whack them in. Uh, it, yeah, that's all, all I do. Um, you can mix them into the soil. Um, I would only really do that if I'm using the sort of standard tropical isopod, um, just because they're a bit hardier than these guys are. So I want to make sure that they start off in a nice happy place and hopefully their numbers should grow. As I mentioned earlier, these guys are fairly protein hungry. So you can add things like dried fish, uh, fish flakes, or custodian fuel uh, from Arcadia, which works great. I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers. Thanks again for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, I'll leave a link with everything that I used uh, to make this, which can all be bought from the shop. And uh, I'd love to see what you guys get up to. Bye.